Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm just going to tie a today. I'm going to tie a, a Bibio Hopper, uh, another fly that uh, this time of year should should be doing well, along with the the Hawthorn. Uh, so in the the vise I've got a fully mill heavyweight champ hook in bronze, and it's a size twelve. And for the thread, I'm just going to use a black sheer thread in fourteen o. So we'll just let. Uh, Lay a quick layer of thread down. Trim that away. Uh, for the rib, I've just got a pearl. It's just a a pearl uh, tinsel. This is actually stuff that I sell in my eBay store. So if you want, uh, you want any of this stuff, just just type in Danny's Dubbin into eBay and you'll see the stuff I sell. It's good stuff. It's it's only uh, it's zero point three mil thick, so it's nice and thin. Uh, especially for doing these these dry flies, we're trying to. Uh, you don't want anything too bulky. I mean, you could use wire, but uh, why why use it when you don't have to? Uh, so I'm gonna get some dubbing, just some black synthetic dubbing. Again, this is stuff I sell in my store. Just dub that on, you see it dubs on nice and easy, no need for any wax. Don't want the fly overly bulky. Might put a wee bit too much on that. Yeah, it's a wee bit too much, but I'll just strip it away. And then we need some red dubbing. Again, just a synthetic dubbing. Too much. Again, dubs on nice. Uh, and then back to black. You see, nothing to it, nothing, nothing complicated. back over the red slightly with the black. Maybe a wee bit too much again, but we'll just just go with it. Just go over it with a thread a few times and it evens it out. As you see I've left a quite a big space here for the hackle to go in. So I like to put a couple of wraps just at the back, almost as a wee tag with the pearl. So that's three times around it. And then we'll oh, one, two, three turns. And once you give it a wee brush uh, with your your dubbing brush, the the tinsel's not as pronounced. You you see it quite well there, but once we give it a wee brush, you you won't see it so much. Back to where our dubbing starts. Uh, I like quite a big, quite a big hackle on these flies. Uh, but what we need to do first is tie in the the legs. So I've got some black pre-knotted pheasant tail legs here. I'll just take four, four fibers. Try and line them up. Two on either side. Again, doesn't need to be overly neat. Back up to the eye, then back down again. Trim that away. And then I've got a nice uh, saddle hackle here, dyed black as a whiten saddle hackle. Let's catch that in. Probably get five or six tons of this. Oh, try not to knock the camera over. Catch 
attach that in. Two or three times to hold it and then draw everything back. Just tidy up the head. Then we'll whip finish. It's got to be one of my, I'd say one of my top flies is, is the Bibio. Catch a fish. Pretty much any time the fish are on the surface, you've got a right good chance of catching a, f a, f a fish with this uh, with this fly. So it's, it's a really good, really good fly. Trim away the hackle. Just push the scissors in, and then a wee bit of varnish to finish. So yeah, give it a go, guys. Tie these up. As you see, very simple. Uh, very very simple to tie, but very very effective. And get a wee and feather. Let's clean the eye out. Lovely. And if you want to make it a wee bit bushier, just give it a wee, a wee brush wheel. Your dubbing brush, uh, if I can find mine, I'll do that. Right here, don't we'll go too heavy on it, just a wee, just a wee brush. Let's see, looks a business. So, give it a try, yeah, give it a try, guys. Tie some of these up and uh, let me know how you're getting on with them. Okay, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Tight lines.